My name's Andrew McLeish, I'm uh, Chef uh, Director of Chapter One Restaurant. I've been here 17 years. We have two restaurants, uh, Chapter One and Chapters in Blackheath. I'm pretty old fashioned, I, I, I'm still in the kitchen at 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. I do the, the preparation in the morning, the mise en place. Then I'll do dinner service at Chapter One, then I'll go over to Chapters in Blackheath. My food style, eclectic, modern European. It's a mix of all, I would say it's a French classic base, but the more we travel, the more we evolve the menu as we evolve ourselves. The dish that I'm going to show you today is a Josper roast uh, Cote de Boeuf, which is an Irish grass-fed piece of beef. The beauty of Irish beef is the marbling. They're on the plains, on, on the grass all day long, and we get that true traditional style beef flavour, the, what we remember as we were kids, sort of like having roast beef at home. So today we're using a five-bone river beef. We're going to trim that back to the French trim and we're gonna take a slice off, and each slice will be two portions. We're gonna take that, put it into a backpack bag, seal it down, cook it at 57 degrees for one hour. What it does is create, when I put it into an extremely hot josper, I get caramelization on the outside, but I have the same coloration of the, the pinkness, the medium rare of the beef all the way through without a gray line. To accompany the beef, the actual piece of uh, josper roasted ribeye, we're gonna braise an oxtail down. All my meat, I like secondary cuts. So we slowly braise that down in the oven, caramelize it down, red wine, a little bit of uh, basic veal juice stock, plenty of herbs, braise it for six hours, take it out of the oven, it'll fall off the bone. And then we simply pick that down, we reduce some of the liquor down and we fold it through together and make what we call a croquant. We panne that in a brioche crumb, deep fry it. So when you eat that with the, the, the rib, you get a nice gooey piece of uh, oxtail, gelatinous, eating with the, the pink piece of meat. To assemble the dish, we, we season the, the beef up well. We pop it into the josper. It take about four to five minutes in the josper. Uh, we take it out and we rest that for another three to four minutes. While the beef is resting, uh, we'll warm this uh, salt-baked celeriac up, which is a crush of uh, celeriac baked in the salt-baked crust. We have a smoked celeriac puree, uh, so we'll just do a little pull on the plate. We'll sit the piece of ribeye of beef on the plate, a little bit of smoked celeriac puree, which goes with the smokiness of the josper, salt-baked celeriac at the back, oxtail croquants, and a little bit of jus over the top. And that's it, it's finished, it's simple. The flavors are packed with flavors, uh, and it stands out well. The secret of this dish is the ingredients. You cannot hide behind anything apart from the, the quality of the beef itself. If the beef isn't of good quality, you're, you're wasting your time. So there we have uh, josper grilled, Irish Cote de Boeuf, salt-baked celeriac, oxtail croquants, trumpet mushrooms and red wine juice.